All right, here's a really good one, yes. and I think the answer is going to be it depends, but <laughs> maybe you can shed a little more light for us, is how do you know what your personal carbohydrate tolerance level is? So that's a great question, and it depends. <laughs> no, no, but let's, let's answer that with a little bit more detail here, okay? So what I like to say is that people can develop different metabolic flexibilities, okay? So let's just take someone who does not have type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes, never had an issue with blood sugar, no family history of it. Um, they obviously have a higher carbohydrate tolerance. And now that may not last forever because if they utilize that high carbohydrate and eat lots of sugar and refined carbohydrates, they very well may develop a lower carbohydrate tolerance or insulin resistance. But that is at one, one end of the spectrum of carbohydrate tolerance. At the other end of the spectrum carbo of carbohydrate tolerance when it comes to type 2 diabetes is someone who has had very long-standing diabetes and as we talked about earlier, has overworked their beta cells in their pancreas and truly is unable to produce enough insulin. Those people are at the other extreme end of carbohydrate tolerance. So there's a big spectrum here, okay? And where, most people fall in the middle of the spectrum, and where exactly in the middle do you fall? And the first thing I'll say is that may change. Okay, so in other words, we may find someone who's at the lower end of carbohydrate tolerance, and as they Im implement a Verta treatment, they improve their insulin resistance, which is very nicely documented in our one-year clinical trial. Insulin resistance scores drop dramatically. They may actually shift themselves to having a higher carbohydrate tolerance. Now, I'll tell you right now, Anyone who improves their insulin resistance, if they go back to eating a high carbohydrate tolerance, they will develop problems again. Okay, so this is helping back people out, but it's not curing them. And that's a really important point to make. If we implement the Verta treatment, someone does it just for a while, goes back to a high carbohydrate lifestyle, they will have recurrent problems at some point. So important to remember that as we think about that sustainability piece. But in figuring out exactly where in the carbohydrate tolerance spectrum you are at any given time, keeping in mind that that could change, it's really going to be following your blood sugar. And if you have a Verta Health Coach, they're gonna be key in helping you with that because they're gonna be watching your blood sugar and say you try a new food, what's your body's reaction to it? Are you doing really good and your blood sugars have been in the 90s and then all of a sudden you went out to a new restaurant and had a sauce on, um, on something uh, on your dinner plate that night and all of a sudden the next morning your blood sugar was 180? Whoa! That was over your carbohydrate tolerance. And even though maybe the food choices looked good, it was probably something in the sauce that you weren't aware was put in there. And most of the time, unfortunately, that winds up being sugar. So it's just going to be following those blood sugars. And you know, I'd like to take an opportunity with this question to point out something that I think is going to be key in the type 2 diabetes community, and that's going to be the advent of continuous glucose monitors that are now available to the type 2 diabetes population. So continuous glucose monitoring is exactly that, what it sounds like. It's monitoring your blood sugar, not when you prick your finger and you check it one, two, even more like four or six times a day, which is helpful, but we've got big parts of the day, including overnight, where we're not sure what's happening with your blood sugar. We're just checking it at specific points in time during the day. And continuous glucose monitors have been available, but they have been so expensive that they've really only been implemented for type one diabetes. But now there's a new continuous glucose monitor available called the Libre, and these are very inexpensive. And I've been utilizing them in some of our patients who have found them to be incredibly helpful at just this, determining their carbohydrate tolerance because they can watch the line through the day instead of just points on that line to see exactly how they're reacting to certain food. So I think finding everyone's individual carbohydrate tolerance is very important. 
working with your Verda health coach and following your blood sugars when you eat anything new is going to be a wonderful way to make sure that you are personalizing your carbohydrate tolerance threshold for where you're at right now.